How can sparks fly from such a thing? In fact, it is quite normal because this is a magnetic gearbox that operates entirely through permanent magnets and sparks are caused by the magnets flying off and colliding with each other. Oh. Actually, I had made a couple of this before, but the interaction in them was in the radial direction. This one, however, is an axial flex magnetic gearbox, so the interaction of the magnets is parallel to the axis. So let me put the magnets back in. I'll do a quick polarity check with this. Okay, it looks right. If I rotate from this side, the speed increases by 4 times, the torque decreases by 4 times, and the other side, just the opposite. But Say I reverse the polarity of one of the magnets. What do you think happens now? And see the three magnets here now look like a group. I can't even turn the handle. It moves nonsense like a mechanical gear with a broken tube. And oddly the rotors start to turn in the same direction. But how to get a perfect smooth gear reduction with just a few magnets and these inserts? When one of the rotors takes a small step, it creates repulsive and attractive forces between the magnets here. These forces result in a tangential force in this direction, causing the other rotor to rotate, just like a motor. But when it comes to gear ratio, when this rotor takes a step and aligns the south pole with this steel insert, the other rotor has to align the north pole, but it needs to rotate 4 times faster for that to happen. And this is how the gear ratio is basically achieved. The key to this is the harmony between the number of pole pairs and inserts. I used 16 magnets in each rotor, arranging the ones on the low speed rotor in alternating polarity, one north and one south, which makes 8 pole pairs. As for the magnets on the high speed rotor, I arranged them in groups of 4, resulting in 2 pole pairs and this gave 4 to 1 gear ratio. Under the magnetic field viewer you see the rotors, in the alternating array rotor there is a bright line between each magnet but in the other one it's only between the groups, which proves what I just said here. I then added bearings to support the rotors and look how smoothly they rotate. The number of metal segments in the modulator, like the magnets, plays a key role in the smooth operation of the gearbox and is equal to the total number of pole pairs in the rotors. That's why I used exactly 10 steel inserts in the modulator. So what happens if I remove one insert? Steel works fine but 2, 3, yeah I can feel the vibration getting higher, 4 inserts, 5, 6? I can't turn it any longer. I think it's totally broken. Alright, let's increase the speed a little bit. For some reason it broke at about 8500 rpm and in fact other than that in its current form there is a major drawback which is the presence of eddy currents. As the rotors spin, the change in magnetic field around the inserts due to alternating poles induces eddy currents. This not only generates heat but can also apply a braking effect on the rotors. To see this I run the gearbox at about 5000 rpm for a while. Of why did it stop? There's a point it's not here, which could be why it stopped suddenly. In the end, only the bearing in the high speed rotor overheated and inevitably warped the 3D printed spacer and rotor shaft. Remaining magnets inserts everything is cold, it hasn't warmed up at all, which means that there's not much eddy current, which I didn't see any braking effect either. The reason for this is likely that the rotors are not close enough to each other, so the interaction and therefore the eddy currents are quite weak. To clearly see this, I fixed the rotor and did a torque test. As a result, at a force of 240 grams, the magnets can no longer hold each other and just slip over. 
Considering the length of the lever, this means that the gearbox has a torque capacity of 0.06 newton meter. This is about 60 times greater than the torque of toy size 3 volt DC motors, and also 18% more than the previous rated flux one I made. But if you ask me, this can't even be called torque. It's an extremely low value, and one of the biggest factors affecting it is the distance between the magnets, or simply the air gap between them. So I shortened the spacer that's sporting rotors and made another attempt. And as a result, the torque capacity increased by 12% to around 0.07 Nm. I couldn't tighten the tolerances further with the 3D printed parts, but I replaced the steel inserts in the modulator with thin, transformer core pieces which I believe have higher magnetic permeability, likely made of iron. This will also reduce eddy currents, although it's not currently a problem. So I first cut them into small pieces, then flattened them and printed a new modulator to fit into the slots. So I repeated this process 10 times, it took some time but let's see if the result is worth it. After the test, the slipping force between the magnets increased to around 380 grams and the torque capacity increased by 60% compared to the initial value to almost 0.1 Nm. meter. However, with the replacement of the inserts, not only did the material change, but the cross section of the metal segments also nearly doubled while the length was halved. So it's not only the material effect. Then, in order to further increase the torque capacity, this time I wanted to replace these N35 neodymium magnets with stronger ones, rated M52, although I couldn't find them, so instead I decided to add one more magnet each, and just look at the difference between the single magnet and double magnet. Obviously, it is much stronger, and it also seems like this has further reduced the air gap. As it is now, it's really tight, I can't even turn it. I then placed it onto the test rig for a final torque test, and... As a result, the slipping force between the magnets increased significantly to around 850 grams and the torque capacity also increased by 1.2 times to 0.21 newton meter. And this improvement was achieved simply by adding an additional magnet behind each magnet. Eventually, with slight improvements compared to the initial design, the torque capacity of the gearbox increased by 2.5 times and I think I can now use this gearbox in a real project. And imagine, if we even arrange them in a hallback array with M52 magnets using 2 or 3 for each. It is super quiet, lubrication free, no wear and tear, and these gears are unbreakable. Thanks for watching, if you like it, please subscribe.